Congratulations, Faith. From there, I say, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, dear. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. President. I'm so happy with the reward. Now I can own a house in Nairobi. I was not, <laughs> I was not expecting today is the truth. And with the money, I can say now I can buy uh, my father a car. Uh -huh. I promise him. When, uh, when I was going to break a world record that I'm going to buy a car for him. <laughs> so now I can fulfill my promise. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so Asante Sana, at least we've made uh, Faith uh, keep her commitment to the, to the father and the mother. So Asante Sana, God bless you. I have also asked the ministry that the government of Kenya should review the reward scheme so that we can recognize and re we can reward appropriately the men and women who attain excellence in our sports, in our arts, and in the creative economy. And going forward, we have decided as a government of Kenya that any Kenyan who participates in a world event and breaks a world record, unlike in the past when there was no recognition going forward for every world record broken by a Kenyan, the government of Kenya is going to award five million shillings. And we are going to start today with Faith. She has won and broken two world records in 1,500 meters, as I said, in Florence, Italy, and in 5,000 meters in Paris, in, it, in, uh, in, uh, in France. The government of Kenya is going to award her a total of five million for one record and we are going to give her a house worth six million for the other record. It will be the same for all the other world beaters and world record breakers that will come after faith so that our young men and women can be motivated because we already have the talent, we have the pool of uh, talented resources in Kenya that can break any record. And going forward, we are going to work hand in hand with our athletes and support them. And beyond supporting them, reward them appropriately. This is also the spirit of the Talanda Hela flagship initiative I availed last Friday. I did say last Friday that we are monetizing sports. We are monetizing art. We are monetizing music. We are monetizing the creative economy so that it begins to speak the language of success to those millions who participate in that space and recognize that art is not just about jokes. It is about serious business. Athletics is not just about entertainment. Football is not just about entertainment. It's not about making us feel good. It must speak to the language of monetary gain for those who sacrifice, spend their time, commit their resources, stay disciplined. And I want to congratulate Faith for being an example of what discipline and consistency is. Our sports and sportsmen and women brand Kenya worldwide more than any other branding that happens. 
We want to honor and reward them accordingly. The new scheme covers the entire spectrum of sports and creatives. Under this scheme, as I have said, we are going to have a whole new package. I want the ministry to finalize the package of what kind of reward scheme is going to accompany our sportsmen and women, our uh, creatives, our arts uh, people participating in arts. And I will be launching that scheme shortly so that our sportsmen and women and people in the arts space can know how the government of Kenya is going to stand with them when they shine. And we are going to make sure that they are proud to be Kenyan and they should be proud of what they are doing. I also want to ask the ministry responsible for um, immigration that our sports men and women who excel should be given 